what's up? What's cracking, fool? How you been? I've been cooling. How you? Listen, I, um, I'm ready for the challenge. You got your joint ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this this is my this is my Chris challenge. Shit. Oh man, everybody put the cap, put the cap emoji. <laughs> Exactly. Instant cap emojis. Exactly, man. What's Instant cap emojis man? in the comments. Oh man, the saga of Wiz Khalifa. We got we yeah, got some things to talk about. You know, it's a um, it's a uh, it's an EP, six songs. Nah, it's an album. Why is it only six songs? Seven songs. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. But why only seven songs? Cause that's all it really takes. Is that the wave is changing now? That's that's what we knowing. You said is the wave changing? But yeah, because you know sometimes, uh, like you have some artists that still put out like I guess twelve songs, twelve songs or thirteen songs. But I know it's a lot of newer artists now. They're doing like somewhere in ten, like ten, but you got seven. I so feel like less is more. Honestly, um, I feel like the way that people digest music. Mm -hmm. If I give you 14 songs, you'll probably listen to three of them over and over again. So I just increased the number of songs that you're going to like. And out of those seven songs that I dropped, seven of them are bangers. So it's really just out of respect for the fans, man, just to give you just straight heat. No fast forwards. Pretty None. Much. No skips. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you my favorite two. I'm gonna tell you contact, but the outer space joint that's that's, that's just that's, fire, right? Yeah, that joint crazy. That shit's fire. That 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 joint's crazy. Now, what what made you want to go in the direction of the contact joint? And the video's kind of dope. I gotta give you that. I'm, I was a little scared yeah. for you because you was were you really in the sky? In, you know, in yeah. The video? Hell yeah. You wasn't scared. Wasn't scared. Nah, man. <laughs> I'd have been scared out my mind, bro. Nah, but, you'd have been good, man. You'd nah, have hit the KK. You'd nah. hit the KK and you'd have became yourself. Nah, I'd have, I'd have been scared. I ain't gonna lie. I'd have got a dog. You yeah. know, my saying, you scared of the dog. But them, them, those two joints is my favorite joints. Now, what made you want to go with the contact joint is the first thing out. Um, Well, shout out to Tiger. He brought me that record. We was working out at the gym. Mm -hmm. And um, he had just put his album out. And he was like, man, I got a couple records left over from that I didn't use for my album. And he was like, I think this would be a perfect one for me and you. And he let me hear it with uh, the hook and his verse on there. I was like, man, that sounds amazing, bro. And um, yeah, it just worked out to the point where I've made enough hit records at this point to know what a hit sounds like. And when we when that song got done, I, I knew it. I was like, this is certified. Like, you can't deny this song. So, um, and it's a really good feature. It's organic, it being me and him. So I was like, wow, you know what I mean? This this would be a perfect way to start off, to spark off the project and, you know, set the tone. You got and the video almost got 10 million views already too. Congrats on that. Congrats, and, and congrats on dropping it yesterday. You got, yeah, thank a, you. You got a lot of collabs on here. Um, you got Megan, of course. Todd yep. Dollar, you know, um, you got a lot of different production. You definitely got um, Hitmaker. You got um, this big homie named Mustard. Um, the direction was, is this a new direction for you? Like you felt like I wanted to go this way or, or, or is this like the end thing? Like everybody wants to use these guys. Like, Nah, I just feel like this is, these are my ideas of slaps. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I feel like everybody who releases music, it's their idea of what slaps. And that's respectable because if you're an artist, you do what you like. And um, these are my ideas of big records. In my opinion, these are what big records, big timeless records sound like. And the collaborations to me add to the timelessness of them. Um, not only because of you know the weight that these other artists carry, but the relationship that we have and being able to uh, get this music done. I, I, I give a lot up to the process of making this album and uh, all the people who were involved in it, everybody who cleared records, 
everybody who cleared verses, everybody who came through and redid verses and was a part of the mixing and everything. You know what I mean? It was a really, it was a real team project and it was a group project. So um, just that energy alone, I think pushes the album further and makes it something different and bigger than anything that I've ever done. We got to touch on something. Something new, which came out, is it 2017, 2018? Yeah, probably. Dude, right now, if you could get a dollar, if you, know, if you can get a, a five cent off of the memes alone, like this, yeah. every, like, when you saw that happening, did you think like, yo, you know what, I need to bring this, I, I need to just do a whole new remix or bring this back out? Because it mm -hmm. came out in 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, that was one of them ones, you know. Um, sometimes you're ahead of your time, you know what I'm saying? And um, that's what I was, what I think about some of the records that I put out. Like I said, to me at the time, it's what slaps. So in 2017, that shit was slapping to me. You know what I mean? It might not have slapped that hard to the rest of the world, but I was confident in it. And it took till 2020 for it to start slapping. And, um, and it did. Now, let's talk about Taylor Gang. Yeah, yeah. What is the state of Taylor Gang right now? Um, I know um, Todd, Todd, you know, is involved with that. Chevy was involved with that. Are, are we got mm. we got projects coming out. We got um, new, no, no new projects coming out. What's, the, what's yeah? The we got we got some new artists that are uh, that are up and coming. Shout out to my partner Skate. Uh, we just we just signed him, and he's on Atlantic as well. Uh, we dropped this EP in January. We're working on his album. The situation kind of messed everything up, like the flow of everything, because we can't shoot as many videos and be outside. But we're still working. Um, Skate is a project that we're working on. I got Sosa Man out of Houston. Uh, he's really big. He's got a really, really huge following um, on his own. And we're working on his album and putting him out there. Um, Definitely signing more artists. We got TM. He's one of our producers. He's signed to us, and he releases projects consistently, and he's always on everybody's music. So it's mainly about, um, you know, just pushing forward. We have the success with the artists who we've already been working with, and then, you know, we just add them to the roster as well, whether it's an artist or whether it's a producer. Are we ever going to see a Rolling Papers Part 2? We did. We had, but you know yeah. what? I meant to say part three. My bad. Yeah. So, yeah. Rolling Papers Part Three is that going to happen? Um, no, nah, I'm more focused on the saga of Wiz Khalifa now. Um, I feel like with these records that I put out, um, it resets the tone of who I am and what I bring to the game, and also the support from the fans is is unbelievable. So when all of that kicks in and full fledged it's only going to be right to drop, you know, uh, more installments to the saga and just keep the journey, you know what I mean? Keep it, keep it going. I want to go to the left a little bit. I know, Come in. I know you and Snoop, that's like... Yeah. I'm working, okay? So I'll be out in a second, yeah. all right? No, 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 I'll be out in a second. Okay, thank no, you. Okay. I know you and Snoop, that's like brother to brother. Mm -hmm. um, are we ever going to get another, you know, you and Snoop project going off of yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, another Mac and Devin go to high school movie, and um, and soundtrack one hundred percent. Ooh, a lot um, of money. Lot yeah, of hell money. yeah, a lot, lot of money. Now, also, now the first person I saw, uh, the first rapper that I saw doing kickboxing was Snoop. Did Snoop introduce you to that, or no? Nah, he got it. He got. Uh, he came to the same gym that I was working out at. Really? Yeah. Yep. Now, have y'all sparred yet? Nah, nah, me and Snoop ain't sparred. <laughs> <laughs> I have a spar with the dog. We we threw like hands where you throw combos and shit like that. But no no contact though. No contact? Nah, now, no. Did you guys get Big Sean involved with it? Because I see Big Sean was on Janae Eco's. He was on somebody's Instagram. Right. And he was uh talking so, about so oh, boom. I, you know, I F you up. All right, so check it out. You know me for a long time, right? Yes. You know how a lot of this I inspire a lot of rappers, right? Right. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Okay. Anyway, in a positive way, I I I inspire people to do the right thing. So health 
kickboxing, self-defense, a lot of those things, if they weren't considering it before, they need an example of what to do and how to do it to feel comfortable to do it. I've always been that dude. I've been comfortable being that person. You dig what I'm saying? Right. So like at the end of the day, anybody who looks to a direction of what to do or how to do it, you always need positive inspiration. And I've been that dude. So pretty much you're the wave and people just follow the wave. Now I'm a positive influence. Oh, okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. So let's say Wiz Khalifa's out. Uh, he's at the store. Um, he has no security. You go to the corner store and somebody tries to try you. What happens? Do you walk away? Cause, because you have a lot of money. You're a millionaire times a, a, a thousand. So you say, okay, guys in your face, he's like, yo, that kickboxing stuff, they did it, did it, it. What happened? Do well, I don't train, I don't train for street fights. Mm -hmm. I train for real setup situations where we could go rounds. Oh. So if anybody wanted to do that, I would be down. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Now, has anybody ever stepped to you about a celebrity match? Nah. Cause you know, um, you know, I on my page, I posted you. I, I do, you know, I, I'm into boxing heavy. Like that's 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 my love. Right. And, um, I do this thing called R&B Tuesdays, and I post you. I put up when you was kickboxing. Right. And I was like, yo, I was like, damn. I said, would you try this guy? I don't, I don't, I don't think I would. I don't. Yeah. I, don't. I mean, you know, it's not for that. It's mm -hmm. it's not to figure out who's the toughest or any of that. Like I said. It's for one specific thing. <laughs> <laughs> one specific thing. So, how you holding it down, man? With the you know, with the, co the 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 coronavirus situation, man. I mean, I guess you've been staying safe, staying clean, and doing what you need to do. Staying I've been cooling, man. man. I, I I got a crib that's pretty, you know, ducked off. I'm able to walk my dog around the neighborhood and get some fresh air. So that's pretty much the extent of how far I go outside. But other than that, just been uh, hanging out in the house, like kind of switching it up between movies, video games. I've been promoting the album a lot, interacting with the fans a lot, and just, you know, just staying in tune with everything that's happening, kind of, you know, just staying educated on, on what's going on. That's been really important as well. Two things I want to say to you before you jump off, man. You've probably been, um, I've had a lot of people come on my show and freestyle and you definitely gave me some classic bars the last time you said it was years ago, but you definitely gave me some classic bars. I want to say I appreciate that, bro. Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah, yeah I, I still got, I still run that. I still got that, by the way. I don't even remember. Yeah, I know you don't, and you probably don't, but you know, it, it's definitely one of them classics. <laughs> look, look, definitely, the saga of Wiz Khalifa, man. Y'all definitely need to get it on all digital platforms. Wiz, next time you come to Philly, man, you gotta come see me. I usually do. When you're there, when you're at the at, at the office, because I know you got stuff to do. So you see, I'm here, right? I'm supposed to be home. You here when ain't nobody here. there? <laughs> True, but nobody, <laughs> nobody's here when I'm here anyway. It don't matter. Like ain't they, nobody you, there, nigga. They don't they, look. They don't, they, they don't allow me to have interns anyway. <laughs> you think quarantine? Yeah, yeah, quarantine. <laughs> that's real. Seriously. <laughs> Wiz, we, thanks for checking in, man. We definitely got to get up. I know you got some calls to make, man. I really no no it, doubt, man. Thanks for supporting, man. I appreciate you for showing love, man. Anytime you need me, I'm here, all right? Most definitely, man. Thanks for checking in. All right, no doubt, bro. My man.